So going, talking about the eating disorder versus disordered eating, a, a big part of high performance sport is we are always tracking carbohydrate, tracking protein. So we're all kind of, we can never say that we are not having disordered eating because we are always looking at the intakes of our food. But I will say when I came out of that low energy availability, the one thing I noticed was my gut health improved majorly. I had such bad like gut disturbances when I was in low energy availability. Mm -hmm. That was probably the biggest shift I saw was when I was regularly eating, my gut health improved massively. Yeah, that happens because you have more diversity in your diet. And if we have more diversity, then you have better gut microbiome diversity. And the gut microbiome is so important for neurotransmitters, our vitamin production, overall health and well-being. Listening to you reminds me of a woman I worked with quite a few, I'd say about 15 years ago. And she was a Ayurban coach. And she's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm going out and I'm able to do all of my training, but I'm still putting weight on. Mm. And at that time, we didn't know what relative energy deficiency in sport was. And she's like, my bone density is taking a hit. My blood lipids are up. I don't know what's going on. And so from the perspective of a physiologist, like, okay, you're hitting on your training, but you're not recovering from it. Mm. So back, even back then, before we knew what it was, we knew that it was some misstep between training and recovery. So yeah. pulling her volume back and having her recover better. And part of recovery is also food intake where you are eating on your recovery days. She was able to start dropping that extra weight and change her blood lipids and get better bone density over the course of eight months just by focusing on reducing the volume and training smartly. Yeah. And now we're seeing what that means when we're talking about recovery from or trying to get out of Red S or LEA. And I definitely have a lot more lean mass now mm -hmm. than I did when I was in low energy. Yeah. So as soon as you come out of it, you can actually build some muscles, which I is quite nice. <laughs>